If we go over okay. there and you go over here, okay. we'll be so much better at this. <laughs> One of the actors that I think I saw something early on in would be Chris Pratt. Uh, he had done an audition for me years ago, which I thought was very noble and kind of heroic, and it really stuck with me. And that led me to think, even when he didn't want to initially do the role in Guardians, that he could be the right guy. Had to convince him and then had to convince James, and he ended up being perfect one. I would say Margot Robbie in Wolf of Wall Street. It was a challenging role to cast. We read many, many actresses for it. When Margot came in to read for Martin Scorsese, we kind of knew right away. Maggie Gyllenhaal came in for this tiny part she couldn't have been more wrong for. But she came in and did this incredible reading of this minute three-line part. And you thought, OK, that's something. My proudest casting moment, I'll say the latest one is probably Detroit. It was a very difficult movie to cast, really uh, intense just because of the storyline, but rewarding in that we got to cast a lot of new young actors. Proud this year of the ensemble nature of Beauty and the Beast from top to bottom. All of those actors I got to sing as well as that. They did an amazing job and that was really satisfying. Probably Star Wars. It was really exciting to find these two pretty unknown young actors who've really taken the story forward into a whole new area and the audience has gone with them and I feel really proud of them. I mean, I think in terms of diversity, I think we're no longer kind of leading the conversation. I think uh, the studios, the, the producers, they're starting to lead the conversation. So that's, that's kind of nice. Very, very lucky on Avatar that everybody's blue. We had a lot of challenges with that, and to this day, the agents call up and go, well, yes, but what ethnicity? And, uh, they're gonna be blue, it doesn't really matter. The, the male-female ratio in scripts is so often, when it's written by a man, so many more male roles in the script and female roles in the script, and I always like to, early on, with the director and producer, sit down and just say, there's this many men, there's this few women, that's where we can flip that, so that it doesn't come as a surprise later when you're constantly trying to um, up the, the, the female side of it, because it should really be 50-50 if we're reflecting the world we live in. One thing I'd like to change about Hollywood is I would like to see the stories that are being greenlit and financed be more reflective of the diverse world that we live in. The right questions are starting to be asked. Why couldn't this person be more or less anything, a man, a woman, a different race? Why can't we open up our thinking? And I think those questions are definitely now being asked. One thing I wouldn't change about Hollywood is that I hope the movies keep getting made. I love television, but I love the experience of going into a movie theater. I've really enjoyed some parties in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they, they, they stay as they are.